Hi guys, Patty here with a little Christmas in July share. Um, my friend Christian is hosting a Christmas in July collab and basically what it is is um, just prepping for Christmas crafts. Um, you know how Christmas is so crazy and you rarely have time to get things done. So she thought it would be a good idea to start early, start in July, go through your stash, look at what you have, um, get an idea of what you need and what you have and start crafting, start creating um, things that you can use in Christmas or at Christmas for crafting. Something that I have wanted to do since I started Happy Mail and all of that. Um, is create a December daily. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I don't like to like create a stash to craft ahead of time. Like I like to um, make things specifically for a person. Like I can't just, I don't know, like I need to know what the person likes, what colors, what things like that. So I don't want to make like a whole bunch of happy mail and not have someone specific in mind. So I've decided that what I am going to do is make things for a December daily. That's my goal. Um, because I've always wanted to do a December daily ever since I found out what a December daily was. Um, and I just, I don't have the time to do it. So I thought this was perfect, um, to go through my stash and prep for a December daily. So yeah, I, I am going to be doing that. So I've gone through some uh, Christmas box. <laughs> it's hilarious that I told Christian, I'm like, Christian, I'm gonna need to buy a Christmas paper collection because I don't have a thing. Um, and then I went through my stash and I found all these goodies, like all these little wood veneers, flowers, pom-poms, thread, beads, tags more tags um these gold flowers some ephemera pieces here and there tassels snowflakes um more snowflakes uh happy holidays die that i had never even used i think i received this in some happy mail some jingle bells um so already there is tons to work with and then as far as paper goes, who knew that I had collections that I hadn't even used, you guys? Like, how crazy is that? Um, as a matter of fact, some of these things I didn't even know I had, um, if I'm being honest. Um, so I absolutely have a lot of cocoa and re uh, or snow and cocoa. Um, and so I think I'm going to be using this collection just because I have a lot of it and I also have the digital collection. Um, so I found these little Christmas trees that I have and then everything in here. So let's take a really quick look at that. Let me move this out of the way. So I have these little trees. Um and ephemera pieces that apparently I used some of and then just stuck in this bag. Um, I have these picture frames, these little um, jars here. I don't even know what they're called. Jar pockets, exactly. Um, I have these puffy stickers, some more puffy stickers, um, lots of chipboard and these cards right here which come with quite a few so you can use these for pages in a december daily for sure um these chipboard stickers are sticking to everything i totally did not pack this away properly but look at all of this all of these stickers oh, i hope i didn't ruin them look at that i ruined that maybe i can just put like a little flower on there. Oh look, it peels off, perfect. So I have those. Um, I have this leftover. <laughs> Another frame. Oh my gosh, what a mess. What did I do? Good Lord. 
Oh, look at this one. I'm gonna leave that stuck on there, that plastic. Look at these frames. I guess chipboard pieces. Um, some more puffy stickers. What are these? These are some gift tags. Some glittery paper. <laughs> Let me stick that back in here. I have these um, like tissue um, trims. I got these in a swap from somebody and I just thought they matched so um, I kept that together. This is the chipboard that has gone crazy on me. I need to stick this back in here. I don't know how I did that to get everything so me messed up. How horrible. Like what a waste of pretty things. Why are these stuck together? No, I don't want to ruin it. Oh, perfect, it came off. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, so, and then I have these pom-poms here. So I have quite a bit of this collection. And like I said, I have the digital um, collection. So that is more than enough to create with. I have this sweet little bag that one of my swap partners uh, made for me and sent to me. And then in here, she included some embellishments that she made for me. Um, so I even have like already handmade um, tags that she sent me. Aren't these gorgeous? Handmade um, bag toppers. Let me see. Uh, she sent me all of this you guys this is this was the card she sent me I absolutely loved it she sent me these um, snowflakes um, some more bag toppers and tags she sent me these gorgeous rosettes and then some um, music paper music paper um, doilies so all of this goes really really well with this collection which is why I'm thinking a hundred percent that I will be using snow and cocoa for my um, December daily and so I have this mix that she sent me and look at these gorgeous trims that she sewed aren't those just so beautiful oh love it love it love it love it so much goodness in here let me just fix this really quickly. Um, so yeah, this stuff is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and so much of it, so, so much. So I'm gonna stick all of this. And then I have like little paper clips that are from the, oh no, these are from um, that snow day, I think, or snowflake paper snowflake I should take these off of here so I can use them on that um, I need to put this in here hopefully they don't stick to anything let me stick this in here so I, I don't have any paper from this collection but like I said I do have the digital kits so I can print um, paper if I need to or I can use paper like from other collections that I have that go with these colors like these pinks and these mints and golds um, so I thought I could do that since I, I think I will be using this collection I'm not sure I don't know what to do okay so that's my snow and cocoa and then I found this collection that I didn't even open or use. So this is the Crate Paper um, Snowflake collection. I didn't even open this paper pad, you guys. So I didn't even look at this paper pad. Look at that. It's very cute. It has um, some traditional colors in it, but it also has some pinks and golds mixed in there. So cute. 
some gold foiling. And I have this, I, I think I got this towards the end of Christmas, like when I was already done with my swaps and that's why I didn't use it. I got this from um, Christina at KG Crafts and it was like a little bundle. And so I got these puffy stickers, the paper pad, the puffy stickers, the ephemera pack, which has quite a bit in there as well, and the chipboard stickers. So this whole collection, I have not even touched. How cool is that? And so, um, I don't know. I don't know if I should use Snow and Cocoa or this one. No, for sure Snow and Cocoa, right? Because, I mean, I have more of it and I have the digital collection so I can print out whatever I need. Okay, so that's the, um, the Snowflake. And then I have a ton of Merry Days because of Tuesday morning. Remember that whole thing with where it was... Um, available at Tuesday morning okay so this is my um, Merry Days and so I don't have a lot of this paper I just have a lot of the extras so I have a whole ephemera pack that I didn't touch some puffy stickers um, I don't know if these are part of the collection I don't know where I got these. I think I got these in some Happy Mail. Um, so I have these gold stickers. I have uh, an open pack of ephemera and some chipboard mixed in there. Um, this is what I have left of this paper pad. I don't have anything left of the 12 by 12 paper pad. I totally used that because I did use this collection um, at Christmas when I was crafting. I have a whole chipboard. Um, and then I have a whole pack of this gift wrap book. I also have another gift wrap book somewhere that I have used, but I have no idea where it is, but I know I have one of these that I did start. Um, so that is my Merry Day stash. So what I'm thinking is that, you know, some of these collections you can mix and match, um, so even if you don't have the whole the whole collection um, a lot of these collections you know go together and um, the colors match and I cannot say that I am really good at mix and matching like I, I tend to have to need the whole collection to create something um, but I think with Christmas it's kind of forgiving and you can kind of just as long as you pick a color scheme and just stick to that excuse me to that color scheme um, you should be able to come up with something cute so I have this bag right here that is full of scraps different um, yeah, I even have stamps because <laughs> I have a digital stamp um, Christmas type thing I used to be really into this company and I can't think of the name right now but anyway they have digi stamps and they're so cool because you can color them and create um, a project to match the paper that you have and then I had one a pebbles Christmas collection um, that they sent to me and I still have some of those papers so I mean these are good for um, for creating embellishments because they're like solid colors and the colors will match um, you know whatever collection you use if you're making a bow let's say like I if I use this paper to make a bow it's gonna match the snow and cocoa because it's just black and white you know um, and so I have this pad right here oh how cute this is my daughter's handwriting look at that <laughs> How cute! She must have written the names of her classmates on here on Santa's Christmas list. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, so anyway, that's definitely going to my December daily. <laughs> um, and that was a paper pad from Pebbles. And then these are some uh, pa papers that are from that same paper pad, just cut out. These are authentic. This is a paper pad from Michaels, and I tend to use the um, covers of these pads as chipboard for my projects um, to give them some nice 
added structure. Um, this is an old, old paper pad. I don't remember where I got this from. I think Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I'm not sure. And so yeah, guys, there is more than enough in here for me to craft with. So like I said, my plan is to prep a December daily. Um, I would like to get some embellishments done, um, like some rosettes, some bows, um, maybe get some, you know, the actual book done. Um, and be ready with a December daily. Like how cute would that be? So now I have to decide what kind of December daily I want because I've always thought, well, like last year my goal was to make a memory decks December daily and I started and I actually have like 15 memory decks that I had made. Um, but now I kind of want like a book style. So that is gonna be so fun to prep and to make and that is my goal with this whole Christmas in July. So thank you so much, Christian, for coming up with this idea. I think it's gonna be so fun. Um, I am, am off the whole month of July, so it'll be fun to um, have something to craft and something to look forward to. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments section which collection you think I should use for my December daily. And, um, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.